What's going on folks? My name is Josh. You guys are watching The Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today's video, we're doing some, finally, we're doing some spring fishing. I did a poll on the channel. You guys wanted to see new baits, new spots. Well, I got some vehicle trouble, so we're doing some new baits at some old spots. Today's video, guys, we are fishing the Johnson Beetle Spin. Let's go. All right, now we're gonna be rocking this Johnson Beetle Spin. It's one eighth ounce, very old school. It's supposed to catch a bunch of fish. Don't remember having the best of luck with it when I was a kid. Probably didn't even tie it on in the right spot. Didn't know what to do. We've got a yum two inch pearl white curl tail grub to go with this thing if these trailers die or if I decide to switch the color. So we're gonna tie these things on. We're gonna fish here a little bit. We're gonna fish a few other different spots a little bit. So let's go. Let's see if we can get a little pan fish bite or whatever else might wanna bite this thing. Last time I was here, I hooked into something pretty decent, but never saw it. Lost it, fought it for a little while. It's one thing I like to do in the spring, get a nice little search bait and run this thing around all my favorite spots. Let's see where they're at. Got fish. Got something. Something good. Oh, it ran wicked far. Oh no! It bent this thing out, dude. There's a lesson right there. Play the fish more. I'm an idiot. Fish too much bait caster stuff. All right, we're gonna come right back in a minute. I gotta retie this and fix this thing. And we are back. We're better. We still have fish feeding around us. I'm gonna toss this thing back out there. Morning. Morning. It's like beetle spin it's supposed to be the deal. Especially especially where they're crappie. And there are crappie in here and perch. If they're in here and they're just not hitting this bait, that's a bummer. It's one thing to want to make a video with a different bait, but it's a whole nother thing to burn down on that bait and not catch a dang fish. Take a hint that this ain't the video today. Let's find out if there just aren't any fish over here. I knew it. Keep him down. Yes, dude. Spinner bait. Sweet. Thanks, little dude. Pre spawn. Cold fish. Thank you, buddy. Get that sun on them. Look at that. Very nice. All right. Thanks, nice little, probably a three quarter pound largemouth. Thanks, buddy. Oh, danger noodles friggin' everywhere. And that one scared me. Not, I'm not afraid of snakes. When I see them coming. That was brutal. Not gonna loop. I lost that spinner bait already. That's brand new. We're gonna keep trying. I saw something surface over there. Got some muddier water. Maybe the chartreuse will work a little bit better. Definitely worked better. That's the deal. It's a better fish too. Hi, right, buddy. Yes. Immediately worked. What you got in your mouth? Oh, it's a leaf. Sweet, buddy. Sweet, sweet, sweet. S lost my bluegill color. Switched to the chartreuse. And it worked out well for me. Thank you. Gonna 
get a good release of this guy. Sometimes in that muddier water, I switched to that chartreuse and white. This is uh, one of the only trailers that I had on me that would work for the white spinner bait. It's just a cheap, can't remember who makes it, but it's like the cheapest blue and white package at Dick's. Little curl tail grub on a 3 8 ounce Guggen Squad Zinger. At least I don't see him. Maybe y'all do. But around here, I see a lot of littered rage products. That's a good pass. Before I lose them. Coming up. Yes, dude. Turned into an okay day. Switching to that chartreuse. <sighs> nice large mouth. Probably two and a half pounds. Nice fish. Nice. Came up and swiped it. Got the double hook. Oh, man. I wasn't going to lose it like I thought. I got to climb down there. I don't know if those rocks are going to be the best spot to do it. Looks like there's a small path here. Thank you, girl. Oh, ho, ho. Pick that guy up. What's the deal here? Could have flipped it over and used it again. That's a Guggen bait, dude. It's a Guggen clutch. Completely destroyed. What in the hell? I must have cast it right against the rocks. run into that log little guy oh little pickerel hey buddy oh guy come on come on come on come on come on no 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 nope little pickerel he had a mark on his side i wish i could show it to you if he would stop squirming there look at that guy what's up with him cool looking fish man all right Thanks, little buddy. Hoop. There he goes. There we go. Got it in there. Come on. Got one. Little bass. Well, not a little one. Well, yeah, he's a little one. Thanks, buddy. You little dude. Oh, that old guy was way in there. Way tight to that cover. Got a fish. There's one. There's a nice bass. Dude. Wow. Look at that. Nice fish. Their eyes are getting red. I think they're getting ready to spawn. Oh. Second cast. Am I recording? Yep. Look at those eyes. Regular large mouth. Eyes getting red. Nice size fish. Good fish. I need new fish grips. If I had them, I'd weigh this guy, but I don't. Cold. But we're having some warmer days, warmer nights. That's a nice one. Cool, dude. Sometimes they really just want the spinner bait in here. I know you guys want to see new, new baits, new spots. We'll be going new spots here real soon, but 
tried throwing new baits and they just didn't want it. They wanted this one. Thanks, girl. Yes. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. That bass was sitting kind of under the bridge, but right where there's this little current break here. Must have rained down this way. I got a lot of water coming through here. You can see with this debris on the top, just coming around the corner. And I think that fish was sitting right here in that shade line, just waiting to ambush bait. I gotta get another Shop Carl's order in. This is my only 3 8 ounce bluegill colored spinnerbait, which is the juice in here. You can get bit on white. It's the only other real color I throw a lot in here, white and chartreuse. But this color is the one I've had the most luck on. Okay. One of the biggest tips I can give you to shallow water spinnerbait fishing is to get those blades turning as soon as possible. It can sink if you're slow rolling it, if you need to get it down to a different depth. All right, I think we're gonna take a little move here. Make a move here. I hope that wind isn't really bad. I got a little makeshift wind muff on my... Got one, got one. Little guy. Fighting pretty good though. All right, sweet. Thanks, buddy. He's a little fatter too. Yeah, the pre spawn is on. I think that swim bait is toast. Nice fish. Right about a pound. I have a scale with me. My fish grips are not strong enough anymore. They have crapped the bed on me. So if I try to weigh this guy, he's gonna fall right through the fish grips. That eye's turning orange. But let me know in the comments. I heard somewhere that as the spawn approaches, their eyes start to get red. Write in the comments if you know that to be true or if you've heard that before. All right, let's let this guy go. Decent little fish. Get him in the sun. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's let this guy go. Right back down to the depths. Oh. Got one, got a rock bass. I was just talking to somebody about how I haven't seen a lot of these this year. Cool, got a rock bass. Feisty, look at the spots on them. Really cool looking thing. All right, thanks buddy. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that red eye. 
And I mean, they're almost ready to spawn. Look at that. Good fish. Nice. Oh, that is a nice, that's a nice bass. Cool. All right, folks. No other way to let him go right here. Gotta get down low. All right, I'm gonna drop him from right here. See you later, buddy. Thanks, fish. All right, guys, we didn't end up catching him on the Johnson Beetle spin. We caught one fish that felt pretty decent, but my stupidity lost that fish. Tighten that drag down, 15 pound braid on that spinning rod, and uh, it just bent that hook right out, or at least it belt bent the rig right out, and I lost that fish. Big mistake of mine. I fished too much bait caster stuff, and in my head I was like, just bring that fish in, dude. As I'm losing the fish, I'm like, you idiot, spinning gear. Hopefully won't make that mistake again. We ended up breaking out the spinner bait. I know, it's an old bait, old spots, but it's spring and it's how I find these fish. It's how I uh, kinda, if you will, dip my toe in and tap the water so I can see where those fish are. I can move it really quick. I can get it through those um, grass beds that are starting to grow back up again. I can get it through a lot of the brush really well, but we were able to catch a bunch of fish for this video. I incorporated some of the other camera. Hopefully you guys noticed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I really appreciate you guys watching. The channel is for some reason taking a dive and YouTube is unsubscribing people. I'm not sure what the heck is happening. I don't know if I said something to get myself shadow banned or something. I don't think I did, man. I don't do anything political. Anyway, guys, make sure you've subscribed if you've already subscribed. If you like what you've seen in today's video, Video, hit that subscribe button for me click that like button so we can push this thing out there into the ether and I'll see you guys next time BAM